YouTubers, once again, welcome to the depression. Thank you for subscribing the channel and also thank you for the contribution you have made with the last production. This is the continuation of the last production we made on how to convert a petroleum generator to fuel generator. A last production I explained in details on how you can do the conversion and the different components that involve in generator conversion. If you have not watched the video, please click the link below. You will see the particular uh, theory aspect of it and also the area so that you can understand this one better. Because if you listen to this one and you have not watched it, I want you to be able to understand that this is a continuation of the last project we made. Please devote to watch that one so that you continue with this. Or if you watch this one, go ahead and watch that one so that you have a further comprehension of what we are talking about in terms of compaction. Take a look at this.
believe this should be what an letter and this should be the DC motor you're talking about. So you do the joint system. So I, I move around and I go through it again and I saw some things there and I saw the connection load you have a lot of wires around the system uh, which ought not to be and also see some little things in your video and I can see uh, some connection there but nevertheless I I thank you for your effort by, by trying something I think it's better for you to try than not to do at all I always encourage people to try because every invention in this new world start with a try there's nobody design things even like the Faraday's, Tom Edison and others who never had a mistake one way or another before he finally had a breakthrough as Bill Gates has uh, Steve Jobs, Lee Steve Jobs is late now as uh, Max Zuckerberg and other people who have big design even uh, Edmund Mott, all those ones who are they have one challenge or other but one type of invention you need persistence no matter the challenges you face, you must always persist because one problem you solve will help you to have confidence for the next one. And if you succeed in doing one invention, you have more confidence to do more. That is how it is. It's the confidence you're building. So I thank you for trying something and I will encourage you don't give up. Continue to give. But I'm going to give you some guidance.